Well, hello to everybody. How are you? Well, here in uh, in the clinic. Uh, well, I have now for you a few minutes to to show you a clinical case uh, in order to to show you how I solve a, the, a severe case presenting a deep bite, severe crowding in class two, and the way I plan it with aligners uh, to get a, an amazing result. So you can see in this in this picture, as you can see, well, this this case. Uh, you can find this case in my app in the ortho pro that you can download in the app store and and also this case uh, we we saw i saw this case in master coib uh, we had a master coib last weekend and it was amazing more than 60 out of four more than 25 different countries and well it was amazing and also the in office course that i did on monday with 15 doctors from more than seven different countries was amazing about the aligners and touch and we're well, waiting for the next uh, course that will be 8th of, of April. Well, this patient, as you can see here, you can see the, the narrow arch, the gummy smile, the severe crowding. When she came to my clinic, she came complaining about the, the gummy smile and she wanted to improve that situation. As you can see here, what you can find here is uh, the, the deep bite, the severe, uh, the severe crowding. Also, look at the tipping of the lower, in, the lower canals. They are totally tipped to, to distal. It's something uh, quite complex to solve, the tipping of, the, of both the canines. Also, you can find here the class 2 in, uh, in molars, okay, because the arch is narrow. Also, the class 2 in incisors. As you can see here, this is the situation of, of class 2 that the patient presented at the beginning. And also, how the, the lower incisors are inclined to, to the back if they are retrocline. And also the both lower can have totally uh, the crown is totally tipped to the distal. Okay, look at the, the huge tipping that we have. And something that you, as you know, as my philosophy of tipping, uh, the first thing that I do is to look to the back. As you can see, the teeth in the back are totally inclined to inside. The arch is really narrow because they have an, a very narrow upper arch, they have a very narrow lower arch. Everything is really, really crowded. And here is the, the point at the beginning where really a very very asymmetric arch in both arts, upper and lower. Uh, the upper arch is really narrow. The lateral incisors are blocked to the to the palatal surface. The upper molars are rotated to inside. Also, the the second molars are over over expanded. As you can see here, where the patient presented the the both wisdom teeth in the upper arch. Okay, and also you can hear the 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 B protrusion okay no protrusion the B protrusion of the incisors in both arches because we have C presented a narrow arch okay and the elements to succeed in this case are the attachments as you can see here I prepared the case to use class two elastic but I'm not going to use the class two elastic at the beginning I will wait a little bit also we can we have passive attachments passive attachments in molars in upper and lower arch to control the expansion as you know my philosophy is going to be expanding and giving buccal root torque at the same time in order to avoid the increase of the crown. Uh, I put also by rounds in lateral incisor because I'm going to plan anterior intrusion and also posterior extrusion in, uh, in the incisors. And in the lower arch, you can see here, well, the, the, the cuts in molars. Okay, I'm going to plan 0.3 millimeters of IPR. Well, my philosophy of treatment is always trying to do symmetric IPR and I work more with the IPR in the upper in the frontal teeth than in the, that in the back. Okay, and also let me show you the video how I'm going to expand the arch in truth and retooth incisors. As you can see here, once again, okay, I'm going to expand, procline, and then intrude. The idea is to expand and procline, then intrude, retrude, and lingual root torque in the upper arch. Okay, remember, expand and procline. To do this movement, you have to do compression to the sevens, and then intrude, retrude, and lingual root torque. And in the lower arch, I'm finishing first the rotation of the canines and then I'm moving inside of the arch, okay? In the lower arch, you can see here also the way I either rotate these ones, okay? Let me show you, okay, here, how I derotate with the proclination and then I intrude, retrude, and lingual rotor. Once again, you can see how I procline and derotate together. I, I use the power of the proclination to derotate. And you can see at the end the virtual jam that is the effect of the, of the elastic of the class 2. Okay? The way I expand the upper arch is expansion, derotation, missile out, some compression of the 7, 
back a ruptor to the six, passive attachments on the six in order to avoid the inclination of the crown. And in the lower arc, I'm going to do some brown tripping. So I'm going to expand the rotate together. I'm going to procline incisors to do the, the IPR when I have space. And then I will retrude, intrude, and lingual rotor. That's so important. Intrude, retrude, and lingual. What are the final result here? As you can see, look at this beautiful result with the class one in both sides. Okay, it's amazing. We center the midline. We give her a beautiful class one occlusion. Also, you can see here the final arch shape. Now it's parabolic, symmetric. I solve the crowding. Okay, as you can see here on the left of the screen, the the I, I'm going to do it smaller. Oh, no, I cannot do it smaller. Well, you can see here on the left, in the left, the, the initial situation, and then you can see at the end the full mouth smile, and how we change from that situation at the beginning. Crowding, CD bite, a lot of crowding, really narrow arch, rotation, it's a severe crowding. Okay, severe deep bite, severe tipping of the lower scanners to here. Look at the beautiful change from here to here. And in the arch, this is mandatory to move from this narrow upper arch with well I'm looking to the to the to the club because I'm, I'm in the office and now I have to start visiting patients. You can see that this narrow arc with rotation and then coordinated with the with the lower that why we have this with crowding to here. Okay, from this narrow arch to this one, okay? And then as you can see, well for me it's so important to work with the opera to move from this narrow arch to this one parabolic, where I use the expansion to the rotate, where I use the expansion to give back a root torque. Okay, and as you can see here, how Okay, this is, look at the video, how the way I, I change from the left to the right before compression, left, uh, sorry, uh, on the left, compression and narrow arc, on the right, wider arc, symmetric, parabolic, and you can see in the video how everything uh, changed. In the lower arc, what I did is upright up, up it. We have to do an endodontic at the, at the end because she presented a very big uh, carriage that it touched the nerve, but look at the beautiful alignment. What I did is, 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 is just uprighting and then I did some IPR, okay? I did symmetric IPR, okay? This is the before and after, then after the virtual jump, and look at the, the change before, with the crowding, with the narrow arch, with the tipping of the canines, the attachments that they use, the precision cuts, and the final result, okay? So, well, this case was solved in about a year and a half using my protocols and, well, the, uh, the, the system works fantastic when you know how to apply the protocol. That's why I tell you, well, the first thing is study, invest time, uh, come to courses like Master Coib, download the APP InB Ortho Pro in the APP store of, for Mac devices. You have all the cases there. Many doctors tell, tell me that it changed their professional life because they have all the information, they have my philosophy in your hand, in the, in the, in the, in the mobile. And well, for me, a big pleasure to share all this content with you. And well, let's keep in touch and let's continue doing uh, amazing things together. See you next time.